So to make our basil dumplings, we're going to need a handful of fresh basil leaf. Now in a blender, I have two cups of water and I'm just going to add the basil leaf to the water. Yes, you can add a piece of onion to this, but I have some onion husk that I'm going to use in this instead. Now cover the blender and blend everything together. So now that our mixture has been blended, I'm just going to strain off the liquid. So this is what we are left with. That's our basil water, our basil and onion water. So in a bowl, I have about a little over two cups of flour. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the basil water to this and mix everything in together. Mix everything together until the mixture forms a soft dough. Now, the reason why the color is like this, this is because of the honey and us that was used. So if you should use um, just the honey on itself, you'll have a little bit more lighter color. So that's it. So we're going to go ahead now and separate the dough into small portions. So now that we separated the dough into small portion, we're going to go ahead and roll out the dough onto a floured surface. Now after rolling out the dough, we're going to go ahead and use a sharp knife and cut the dough into small pieces. So that's it. So we're going to go ahead and do the other dough dough pieces just the same and then we'll continue place the dumplings into boiling salted water over medium heat cook covered for five minutes or until the dumplings are properly cooked through. If you'd like um, a more stronger basil flavored dumplings, what you could do, you could add a bunch of fresh basil to the water in the last two minutes of cooking to infuse the water. So our basil dumplings are done. So there you have it guys, our fresh basil dumplings. Thanks for watching.